Hebrew. Question number nine, Dr. Cam Calder. Mr. Speaker, to the Associate Minister of Health, what progress has been made on the introduction of a comprehensive clinical assessment tool for older people in rest homes? The Honourable Joe Goodhue. Mr. Speaker, training of nurses has started with 178 expected to be trained by the end of this year. Last week, the government announced we are accelerating the time frame for the rollout of comprehensive clinical assessments to every aged care resident. As a result, older New Zealanders in rest homes will have tailor-made health plans to ensure they are getting consistently high standard of customised care in their rest homes. By June 2014, all residential care facilities will have started to participate in the rollout. It will, will be mandatory from July 2015. Dr Cam Calder. Supplementary question to the Minister. What prompted the Government's decision to fast-track this rollout? The Hon. Joe Goodhue. Mr Speaker, the Auditor-General's September 2012 report entitled Effectiveness of Arrangements to Check the Standard of Services Provided by Rest Homes emphasised the importance of comprehensive clinical assessment and monitoring the quality of care for older people. In essence, Mr Speaker, this can't wait. The sooner comprehensive clinical assessment is introduced, the sooner we will see improvements in aged residential care services through improved needs assessment and performance benchmarking. Dr Cam Call. Question to the Minister. What is the purpose of comprehensive clinical assessments for older New Zealanders receiving aged care? The Honourable Joe Goodhue. Mr Speaker, this is a personalised health and wellbeing plan that covers about 22 different areas of a person's health. Information from across all rest homes will be anonymised and accumulated to provide a measure of rest home care and quality. This government wants demonstrable and independent measures of quality, so we've also introduced spot audits, we're auditing the auditors and we're publishing audit results online to support older New Zealanders and their families. All this is part of improving the quality and accountability of aged care for older New Zealanders. Question number 10, Dr Kennedy Graham. Uh, to the Minister for Climate Change Issues, does he stand by his comment of 17 October 2012?